you guys welcome back to my youtube channel so today i'm going to be making um, some banana muffins for you guys not for you because you're obviously not here but i'm going to be making them with you guys we're going to do a little bake with me video because i have been making this since i was a kid and i'm telling you guys it's so good so i need to share it with you guys so let's just get right into the video subscribe do all the things you know what to do and let's just get started just got this summer fridays lip balm I think it's cute, but I don't know. Let me guys know. let me know if you guys think it's cute on me. Just a really red. That's the only thing. Like, I think it's cute. So let's get the ingredients out. You're gonna need flour, sugar, baking soda, salt, two eggs, some kind of oil. It says canola oil, I think. Three or four ripe bananas. And then you're gonna need to have an oven, obviously. Let's preheat the oven to 350. Let's do it. Okay, so you can either make this a bread or like muffins. Personally, I like making muffins. I like it's easier to eat and they're just as good. So we're gonna do that. Let's make muffins this time. We're going to take a big, large mixing bowl, just like this, and we are going to take this flour, and we're going to do... Oh, it's bad. My flour is bad. <laughs> no. Okay, we're just going to pretend that this flour is not bad. It only went bad a month ago, so... So we're going to do one and three-fourths cup of flour. So we're going to do one cup of flour, but it's got to be sifted. I forgot. I keep forgetting. you got to sift your flour, people. I need to like show you guys what I'm doing. So we're gonna sift that one and a half, or one and one three fourths cup of flour. You get one of these little sifters, shake it, it's all the flour nice and thin. Do you guys like baking? I, some something about baking is like so fun to me. I don't do it all the time, but when I do, I like, I enjoy it so much. I did wanna be a baker when I was younger, so it's kind of like fun to do because I'm like kind of living out that dream that I had when I was young. But I also just have always made these when I was younger. And so it's kind of fun to like get to do it every once in a while. Perfect, all done with the flour. Let's put it up. I need to get some new flour because this is old. Now, moving on to the best part of the whole thing which is sugar. We're gonna do one whole cup of sugar this whole cup of sugar. Pure white, great sugar. I love sugar. Perfect. We're just gonna plop that in. Oh, yes. That's what makes it good, guys. We're done with the sugar. Just trying to clean up as I go. I need some baking soda. Okay, this is baking soda right here. And then we're gonna do one teaspoon of baking soda. Little tea, not big tea. Little tea, guys. Okay, one tablespoon or teaspoon, sorry, teaspoon of baking soda. Now we need one or half a tablespoon of salt. So I'm gonna get some salt. Guys, I don't know how to get this open. <laughs> oh no, what do I do? And no one's here to help me. Okay, wait, I think I found it. I got it. Ow, that hurt. Okay, we're gonna do half a teaspoon of salt. Beautiful, look at that, look at that. Okay, I think that is all of the dry ingredients. Now we're gonna move into the wet ingredients, which are my favorite part, honestly. The dry ingredients are so boring, so this egg feels weird. I'm something about eggs, like if they don't look or feel great, like I don't wanna use them. What is wrong with these eggs? This one doesn't feel weird. We're gonna use these two eggs right here. Two eggs and the yolk, the whole thing. Not the shell, because that's freaking weird. I like literally make myself laugh. Two eggs. Okay, then we're gonna use half a cup of canola oil for this. I think this is a new oil, yum. The thought of like drinking straight oil actually makes me want to throw up. But it's good in this recipe, so that's all that matters, right? Now, 
The best part of the recipe, besides the sugar, is the bananas because it's not gonna be banana whatever without bananas. So you need ripe bananas. These are pretty dang ripe and they're ready to go. And we're gonna just peel them and stick them in our mixture. So we're just peeling our bananas. I like to take out that nasty end part, but I like to break it up a little bit because it's a little easier to mash when it's broken up. I'm gonna do four bananas, but you can do three, but it says three to four, so just don't go under three or else it's literally not gonna taste like banana at all. I'm telling you, this is so good. My mouth is watery. Then the last banana, this one's not as ripe, but it still will do. Oh. It's got a bad part, look at that. That is gross. Oh, I think my dog needs to go potty. Hold on, we may need to take an intermission. Beautiful, we'll be right back. Okay guys, it's time to mash the bananas. Sorry, I keep calling them bananas. This is what the mixture should look like and then you're gonna take a fork and just start mashing it together. Mix it, mix it, mix it until it looks like a batter and it will get there. Just, you gotta really get those bananas mashed. This is such an easy recipe and it's so good. Oh, my boyfriend's calling me. Yeah, I'm making muffins. Okay, you're making muffins. Muffins! What type of muffins are you making? Banana. All right, well, I'm gonna drive my car from the studio and come there. Okay, love you. Okay, it's starting to look like an actual batter. Like, look at that, so yum. But it's still pretty chunky, so I'm gonna keep kind of mashing it until all those chunks are out. I like some banana chunks in my muffin mix, but I don't want it to be like so chunky that it's like when you eat it, like you just get tons of chunks. We're just gonna keep mashing this and make sure to like really scoop under because it could have some flour under there that you missed. Really mix it up, mash it until it is Nice and doughy. Like, look at that. It's getting there. This is, it needs to be a little thinner than that, so we're gonna keep mashing. Oh, these are so good, I'm telling you guys. Okay, I'm gonna keep mixing and then I'll be back so we can put them in the baking thing to be baked. Mix, 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 mix. <laughs> I think that's pretty good. This is like my guilty pleasure though, eating these. They're so good. I know it's raw. I'll survive, trust me. I've done it my whole life. You didn't see that. You didn't see that either. Or that. Okay. So it usually makes about this much. So that's one, two, three. That's 12 muffins. Okay, I'm starting to just fill the pans with these little muffin trays. I feel like these are easier and they don't stick to the pan as much, but if you don't have them, I think it'd be fine just to like spray them. We're gonna just do a little spray to our muffin pan, just like that. And now let's put it in the trays. Don't fill them too high or else it will overflow. I like to do just a little bit and then we can always add more. This is going so fast, I can't even. It's easier to do with two people, so if you have someone there to help you. Oh my gosh. And then you can kind of like push down the edges to get all the rest of the mix because you don't want to waste any bit of it. This is a great recipe also if you like buy bananas and they go bad. You can just turn them into muffins and it's super easy. Time to put them in the oven. Okay, it's gonna be for 30 to 45 minutes, but make sure to check them because it can get ready faster. And you just wanna watch how much they're rising and then stick a pin in it and if it's dry, then you're good. So this makes about 18 muffins because that's 18 right there. So this recipe makes about 18 muffins or you can just do a bread if you have a bread tin, that's also good but that will take probably a little bit longer. So that's why the muffins, you need to watch them because this recipe is for bread, so it's gonna take a little longer. So I'm gonna set a timer for 20 minutes. So set a timer for 20 minutes, then check it. Alexa, set a timer for 20 minutes. 20 minutes, starting now. Okay, I'm gonna clean up my mess, and then we'll be back. They're getting there. 
Okay, here is the finished results for the muffins. Zane's cleaning the dishes. Yeah, sorry guys. They look like that. We tried them and they're so good. So, if you guys do this recipe, you guys should let me know how you like it. And if you try it, then let me know if you succeeded or not. Because it's so good, I'm telling you, like, I'm not lying at all. It's so amazing and you need to try it. I love you guys so much. Make sure you subscribe and comment down below any other video ideas you want to see from me. I love you and I'll see you in my next video.